about these two? They're also to the right. Okay. Okay. Yep. Now it's good. All right. Yeah, the puzzles like this are stupid because it's just trial and error, and it's like it's not it doesn't have anything to do with using your brain. So I have no problem looking up clues for stuff like that because it's just stupidity. There's no way you can figure that out without just pulling whatever random switches. And that's going up and down these elevators. This is how you get your 10 hours of gameplay out of this, by pulling switches 87 times. It's like, sorry, her, but that's not acceptable. I wonder if the power's on. What? Well, we can't go to sleep until we figure this out. What? Okay, so put everything back the way it was. This one is over there. Those are over there. This one's that one maybe there. That one's there. This way. Right, let's try that. This is so ridiculous. Ways to kill in game time. Now it's midnight. <laughs> I'm just curious to see if Hotchkiss is in her spot, but it's probably not because we haven't we haven't helped her yet. I'm just curious though. about this game. You just got done telling me how much you hate this game because you can't find your way and then you're telling me which way to go. <laughs> so, therefore, I'm will, my word will be the one we'll be trusting. <laughs> Since I'm the only person here who has committed mutant. So she apparently doesn't go downstairs until you talk to her because she's like scared of monsters or something. She's scared of the creature of Kapu Cave. Kappa. I wonder if what? the power's on. What am I supposed to do?
I can't hear you. Well, this, the ones you're moving were supposed to affect the hallway light, though. They weren't supposed to affect your bedroom. Microphone. That's attractive. Well, that's like the only ones I haven't been touching, so it's probably one of those. I think no one's watching because this is embarrassing. <laughs> Nobody watched this video. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have success. Alright, what should I set the alarm for? One is <laughs> check. It's a beautiful day. Don't let it get away. I'm gonna call my boyfriend. He has reasons. Oh my gosh, I'm oh, next to Dexter, what up, dog? Front desk. Dexter here. Hi, Mr. Egan. It's Nancy. I was wondering about the storm. Any signs of it letting up? Look, I'm up to my ears down here. No? I'll have to talk to you later. Sorry. Fine, I'll call Ned and then I'll call him back. You can hear some sappy, crappy love thing. D equals Ned. True or false? Hello? Ned, it's me! Well, you're a sound for sore ears. Bess called me and told me your vacation is rapidly turning into <laughs> another mystery. So what's the latest? Oh I think God. whatever's going on around here must have something to do with the castle's history. And the tower that Ezra Wickford imported from France. What do you what mean? Do you? It's just a hunch. I'll know more once I find my way into the tower. What's going on with you? Ah, the usual. Just buried in books over here. Apparently, this castle's tower used to be a hangout for Marie Antoinette. Who's that? Ezra Wickford's wife? Are you kidding? Marie Antoinette was a famous queen of France. And she used to hang out in Wisconsin? No, silly. The tower was originally part of the Chateau Rochemont in France. Ezra Wickford fell in love with the tower and imported it to Wisconsin. And Marie didn't want to come along. Well, that would have been pretty tough for her, considering... Ned Nickerson, are you pulling my leg? What do you mean, Nancy? You know very well that Marie Antoinette was beheaded in 1793, don't you? Well, yeah. I guess I read something about that when I studied the French Revolution. But when did Wickford show up? He didn't discover the tower until the 1920s. Over a hundred years after Marie's death. Whew! I think I'm all clear now. Thanks for straightening that out for me, Detective. You are some pain in the neck, pal. Good thing I'm so cute. Bye, Ned. Go get him, Nancy. You just been friend zoned. <laughs> she called him pal. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Friend zone. Friend zone. This is the management. No. Please bring any and all complaints God and or it. reports of castle malfunctions to the front desk in person. Thank you. How many windows do you have, you bald thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't. I guess I never say these things when there's actual people in here. <laughs> Besides, people actually... Will well, watch people who say stupid stuff. Like, there's this thing called ad quote where you, like, wait for the streamer to say something really stupid and then you add it so that, so that they won't remember they said something stupid for her. Can I help you? Oh, come okay. On. See you, Mr. Egan. Alrighty then. Why? No. Oh. 
Lisa's gone walkabout. Well, what about this book? In 1892, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. This doesn't talk about the captains. Why? Why won't Dexter talk to me on the phone? Nothing. You can't click that. choice to talk to him, and it's obviously how you find it out, because he's being a bitch now. I should wait until I'm alone. Alright, so, if Ned is Dean, then Dexter Egan is Luke confirmed. <laughs> Minus the felony record, of course. <laughs> Are you all bald he is yet or now? Are you very bald or just a little bald? Inquiring minds want to know. I'm gonna see if Jock is there. Jock, how many castles do you, windows do you have on your castle? Uh he he's not here till nine AM. Maybe we can go outside. Probably not, because he you asked Dexter and he was like, Oh, okay. Ugh, it's like the North Pole out there. Dexter, you need to talk to me on the phone. I think it's, it's locked. really stupid that you can only talk to him about that on the phone. And you go downstairs and try to talk to him about it, it's not even an option. And I go down there and he's like fiddling in the drawers. So, I don't see why he's like, I'm too busy to talk to you. Did I go up to enough floors? That would be no. Well, now that we did that up rollback update and um, changed the whatever the setting was, it's not cutting out anymore. So, yay! Hopefully, it stays that way. I Maybe mean, I can just like get the answer from online because <laughs> I'm mortal. Yes. Did you find the information I asked you for? Sure did. Good, but I need you to write it down so I don't forget. Well, how if she? Like, of course, how does she know what's right? Thank you. Let me do some calculations to see if this is correct. No, that can't be it. It doesn't fit my calculations. You'll need to try again. What? Hey, that's how many keys are on a piano. Yeah, I, know. I I remember I remembered twenty two. That's why I put that. I'm gonna go to my room one more time. And if that if those Hain sisters are in there. I'm gonna take him by the hair with these two hands. Dexter, answer the phone, damn it. Okay, you got a hold of me. What do you need? What? It's not a choice now. It doesn't look like the police will be here for a while yet. Is there any chance I could take a quick look inside the library? Forget about it. A crime was committed. And for once in my life, I'm following the proper procedures. Look, I'm up to my ears down here. I'll have to talk to you later, sorry. That's not where you get the answer? Uh. Welcome to the voicemail system. 